Real quick, my friends, before we start this video, don't forget that we are going to be selecting a random winner from this weekend uh, from wrenchworks.com. Any order that was placed from Thursday through Sunday, today's the last chance to get entered into the toolbox giveaway with the chance of getting a random selection to come hang out with me and Michael. So make sure you guys get in on the toolbox giveaway uh, tonight. Like I said, last chance for the, you to be selected randomly to kind of come and hang out with me and Michael. So make sure you guys get entered in the toolbox. Let's start the video. What is going on today guys? Welcome back. Uh, so today, as you can tell, we've pulled the engine, the mock-up, the mock-up engine out of the Pro Street truck that we've been using uh, to kind of set everything. This engine is also known as the new engine for the 05. We have been waiting for an opportunity to kind of bring it back up to fleece, kind of get it uh, redone again before it even made its way into the truck. We will go over that here probably when we get up there, we start talking to John a little bit, but today we are going to be traveling up to fleece to see John, to hang out, and to bring the 05's new engine back up there to get beefed up once again for all of the power. So anyway, we're going to keep moving along. Now I have to uh, wrap this thing up extremely, extremely well. It looks like we're going to be driving through some rain. So get this thing wrapped up in the truck and let's head north. Hours of driving through the rain later we have made it looks like John's I can I can see John has uh, has taken his spot so it looks like we're not gonna be stealing his spot look at those lines Michael Wow hello John say hello the, the, the people haven't seen you in a while oh, you're putting me on camera right now on right now spot. right now on the spot what were we just talking about talking about boats Maybe people want to talk about boats and not, not diesel truck engines. I don't know. All right, we're pulling around back. We uh, we found John. He told us just to uh, to head to the back. We, uh, I don't know, Michael, what do you think? You think that boat's a little too small to take back? <laughs> I don't know whose boat that is, but uh, we're, we're contemplating on taking it back with us if it's, uh, if it's missing. Hi, John. Yes. <laughs> This guy backing up. How many freaking black trucks do you have? What? what are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to back up. Am I good? Just stop? Stop. What are I we doing here, Greg? I don't know, John. Don't take the camera That's away from me. Camera. This is my camera. You're supposed to be telling me what we're doing here. No, you're supposed to be telling me what we're doing here. We're returning an engine. You're returning an engine? Yeah, we're returning it. I don't want it back. We need it more better. Need more more? We need we need, we need more better. Yeah, hey, are you certified? Yeah. You certified? Uh, not really. But... Hey, don't hurt my truck. Second time? First was like. This is a mess. What's in the cooler? The water? You want some? The yeah, least you could have brought. John has brought me some cold beer. <laughs> what are you doing taking the camera? Your hands are so cold. Is that is that office? He's mad because I'm putting him on camera. Yeah, I'm supposed to be putting you on camera. Hi, John. Hi, Greg. Hi, John. How are you? See, when you come here, 
people want to see me. <laughs> That's and what you tell them every time. I'm, I'm happy that you're I on see. my video today. <laughs> Holy cylinder heads. You got a couple cylinder heads here. Yeah, we want our, we, I want my straps back. You can't. You want this nice tarp? No, 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 you can have that, but I want my straps back. These are actually Michael straps. Sorry, I had to steal your straps. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good strap. That's a good strap. The good ones without the ratchets on them. Oh, look at this nice greenhouse we have going on here. What? Look at this nice little greenhouse we have going on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's probably sweating a little bit. I want to. So I, what I want to do is I want to trade this for my billet one. Straight up. Straight up. You get this one, I get the billet one. What? No, I said you could do whatever you want. Yes. Whatever you want. On record right now. Well, you can put whatever valve cover on the other engine you want. Great, this engine looks brand new. It is brand new. Yeah, I mean, we we were mocking it up in the uh, in the Pro Street truck, but uh, yeah, she's never never been started, never nothing. So, what do you want me to do with it? I would like you to uh, take it all back apart, make it more better, and then I'll take it back. Maybe a fresh paint job. I don't know. What, do you do you want to talk about why I'm bringing it back? I don't care. So. Remember when we first were building this engine, I was like, hey, maybe like around 1,500 horsepower would be the goal for the new engine for the 05. The Street Stage 2 engine was supposed to make like eight or 900, right? And then it made 1,000, and then we put nitrous on it, and then we put a bigger turbo on it. And now the Street Stage 2 engine's making like 1,400 to 1,500. It, it was supposed to be, it, like, it's, it's making the power that this thing was supposed to be making. So now, now we want to make more power. Well, then we need the deck plate. So now we need sleeves and a deck plate. And, and like, why, why is that? I mean, horsepower, yes, but like, internally. All your cylinder pressure's in that top piece of that cylinder. So when the fist is coming up and squeezes all that fuel in there, that's where the problem's gonna happen. Yep. So we're gonna deck plate it. Um, aside from that, it should be, it would kind of be it. Yeah. Take it apart. And there's some other stuff that has to change in there. We talked about potentially changing some pistons and the rods have to get a different length, stuff like that. So there are some internal changes that are gonna happen, but we're still gonna use the exact same cylinder head, same block that's gonna be modified to put in sleeves. So really, is there a, is there a, give me the, are you wiping off the dust? So, much so give me like the, a customer calls up and he's like, hey, I want to make 1300. You're going to try and get him in something that's sleeved? Probably. So, like, our stage two build is a good platform for that guy who wants to make 800 to 1200 horse. Once we get above that, that's when we start looking at deck plates. Um, depending on the application, it's going to be a fully custom engine yep. specific to whatever you guys are doing. Yep. So like this one, we want a water cool. Um, it's going to make more power than what our stage two should handle. Yeah. Okay. Should so, handle. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Correct. So all you guys out there that want stage two, <clears throat> do as I say, not as not Greg as Greg does. does. Yes. <laughs> so that's kind of where we're at. We're kind of at the point where our power level keeps going up. Did you scribble your name in my nice Banks yeah. Big Hoss manifold? Yeah. So <clears throat> there's zero issues or anything wrong with this engine. We are still gonna be going down the same path, but now that Michael over here has introduced us to nitrous, we can't really we can't really stop. So we're gonna make more than 1500 on the next engine. We gotta make sure we beat Cody Fisher consistently. So we're gonna need more power to whoa, do that. Whoa. Yeah. Just dropping that down. Like oh, that? oh, all the time. He's he's the quad cab daddy. Quad cab daddy needs to go he's down. Your daddy. 
No, no, no. He's not my daddy. I've already beat him once. I mean, once. Once. We've only one raced time. once. And he did. He did do a burnout the whole 60 foot. So I mean, yeah. his trucks. His trucks more badass. So basically, he's your dad. I'm trying to be quad cab daddy. He's your dad. I'm not gonna say that on film. Say it. Not gonna say it on film. Anyway, do we? Let's check out the Pro Street engine. So we're not picking up the Pro Street engine. We're still putting the final touches on that. Oh, is that the oil pan? That looks nice and light. It's the heavy version. What? It's the heavy version. We're now the engine Yeah, I was gonna say we need to we need we need, we need to lock in lock in the uh, lock in the room. Woo! It's nice and fancy. So this is the Pro Street. This is the Pro Street engine. Oh baby. Do you want to talk about this at all, John? You don't want to talk about this? No, Michael can talk about it. Oh, Michael can talk about it? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> so there's, so there's... Michael, so, man, a few words. <laughs> that's why his name's Silent Mike. Oh, it's Silent Mike? That's his nickname, yeah, Silent Mike. Yeah, hey, you can't ask Silent Mike to talk. You're going to give him can up. You two meet Travis. Travis? Something America. America. So this is the engine for the Pro Street truck that you guys have heard us talking about. We're still putting the final touches on it, but very soon. Very soon, very soon we're going to go from here into the uh, engine dyno room and make a whole lot of power. But as you can see, we've got certain holes that are not in this engine. So Hamilton solid block, deck plated, 1454. Um, we got a front cover from Wagler, so we'll run the SMS fuel on this thing. Um, I'm gonna go dry sump pan. Yep. We're gonna run a Peterson uh, oil pump system on it. Should be pretty nasty. So dry sump, we're not gonna have a pickup, no regular oil pan, so nope. full full race nasty. Yep. Oh, it's beautiful. All the shiny stuff. All the shiny stuff. Pumps are gonna both be in the front, right? Yep. Well, we're not going to get into that. We'll save that for later, but we'll just give you guys a sneak peek. Sneak so peek at the sexiness. Up here today to just bug me. Yes, basically so I did. On a Monday. So you drove here to bother me today? Uh, and walk around and... I really didn't have anything for lunch, so I kind of came up here. But I didn't. My name is just trying to show off this party platform. Oh, yeah. You like the hair? Yeah. You like my hair? What is with the mop? What? Okay, cut. Cut. We're out of here. Ready to rumble. Soon. Soon. Coming to a party near you. Coming to... <laughs> as, if, as if I didn't need a reason to go to go buy another toy. Now, now, now I have to. Oh my gosh. And a half. How much power did it make? 172. And is that stock right now? 180 horse factory, yeah. Wow. So you basically got yourself a little dyno and you commandeered this little area? I commandeered both. Uh, it's a <laughs> rental dyno and uh, checking it out. So oh my gosh. Like but yeah, it made a pretty cool curve. Are, uh, you want to you want to you want to leak leak the uh, the sneak uh, preview of what's happening yet or maybe. maybe maybe all right well we might have some parts coming pretty thin oh my goodness parts that's spin. cool parts Lots that of parts, parts that's there. parts that spin yeah. all right cool well parts that spin fast yeah I, I don't I don't think you'd be monitoring horsepower for any specific reason you know what I mean but right right <laughs> not bad look at that thing dude Brampton please yep. <laughs> Well, you got, he's going to fix his tournaments around here. He's going to win it. You might as well we got to look be, be looking good. <laughs> just, I can either win with fleece on the boat or I can win with nothing on the boat. I mean, it's either way. Right. <laughs> All right. Love you. Bye. Thank you. Appreciate you. Everyone will see you soon. Glad, glad I can be of assistance today. Okay, good. I'm glad you're here. Everyone else is glad you're here. When's the coffee arrive? Uh... Is this thing on? Is, is it ever off? I'll send <laughs> I'll send you some. Alright. Love you bye. Alright. Love you too, bye. Alright guys, we are out of here. 
We did happen to pick up some stuff that I totally forgot that we needed, which I will show you guys. Oh, it's bright out here. I'll show you guys when we get back to the house, but uh, successful day. Just kind of talking to John, getting a game plan on some of the engine stuff and kind of going over some details because we are going to be engine dynoing the Pro Street engine, which is going to require us to kind of gather up some stuff that we need, how it's going to be in the truck, kind of uh, how it's going to kind of sit in the truck, so to say. So engine management, fuel, air, all kinds of good stuff, all kinds of big horsepower, right, Michael? Yes, lots. Lots of power, lots of power. And then, like John said, we're, we're kind of at the point where we need to make sure that the 05 will live, even though that is a Hamilton wet block, uh, we need to beef it up even more to make sure that it kind of withstands some of the some of the torture that we are going to inherently put it through trying to make a bunch of power. So anyway, we're gonna make this make this trek home. All right, guys, it is the next morning. We have made it back from Fleece. As you can see, we have picked up a full sheet of tinted Lexan for the uh, the Pro Street truck. We uh, forgot that we needed some. We're gonna make a new back window and also bring the back window down some. So we needed to pick up some more Lexan. Fleece always helps us out with that. They actually stock uh, tinted Lexan. They actually stock like some of the windshields and windows. So if you guys need a uh, tinted Lexan or even normal Lexan, I believe they've got it in stock ready for you guys. If we uh, if we didn't take the last if we didn't take the last full sheet, but uh, they always have it. Go hit them up. Uh, we've also got another uh, new product from Fleece, but we're gonna unload this first and then show you guys the new uh, the newest, latest, and greatest billet piece over here from the guys at Fleece. Really, really nice. All right, guys, latest product from the guys at Fleece, 2003 to 2018 billet front cover. It's actually got provisions for a Waterman mechanical fuel pump if you guys need that or are into that. Also comes with a cover plate if you don't, uh, but nice to have, again, if you're gonna go that route. But billet, obviously we had to go with black. Really nice piece. And look at this hardware. This hardware is really really nice got some arp 12 point hardware that is countersunk in there sits flush like that super nice so we'll have to come up with a uh, with a truck to put this on but uh, if you guys are looking for a nice billet dress up piece along with all of their other front engine cover pieces uh they do offer it in like a raw or polished and then obviously a black as well so front main seal Looks pretty similar to a uh, OEM one as far as like the backside with this ridge right here. So, oh look at that, they even got the little grooves in there if you uh, use RTV. That's nice. Very nice. Always nice pieces from Fleece. Anyway guys, that is going to wrap up this video. Always a good time going up, hanging out with the guys at Fleece, talking with John, getting game plans. We should be back up there within, I would say, uh, a couple weeks, three or four weeks, as they wrap up our Pro Street engine. We're gonna go back up there, help them bolt down the cylinder head, help them uh, put the fuel system together right before it goes on the engine dyno. Uh, so look forward to that, and then us actually putting it on the engine dyno and then getting it in the race truck. So plenty of good stuff to come from the guys over at Fleece and Freedom. We will see them soon, but that is going to wrap up this video. Hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next video, guys. Stay tuned in the next video or two for the new Wrenchworks launch, the new Wrenchworks giveaway. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. It is going to be the biggest one yet. Thanks. See ya.